Could I read a short statement? Yes, you may. Mm -hmm. I'm here today to address Larry Nassar, both as an osteopathic physician and the father of two beautiful girls that were cared and abused by you. Before I begin, I would like to say how proud I am of each and every survivor in this courtroom. I will never forget your stories and the pain in your voices as you so courageously tell all those stories that we've heard. As a physician, we are given the great privilege to care for our patients. What a wonderful and beautiful privilege this is. Our patients trust us with their most intimate problems, their fears, their bodies, and their history. They trust that we will care for them with compassion and respect and love, that we will do no harm. They place their trust in us without knowing us because we are physicians. <laughs> we make mistakes, and occasionally these unintentional mistakes cause harm. This causes us great pain. We carry these stories with us forever, never forgetting the patient we harmed, and never forgetting the pain we caused. We learn from this and we try to improve and become better caregivers, better physicians. This is not your story, Larry. <coughs> The pain you caused was intentional. You did not care for these young girls with compassion, respect, and love. Your care was selfish, not selfless. Your story is dark, sinister, and pure evil. You preyed on the most vulnerable. You preyed on innocence, and you preyed on trust. You preyed on little girls and young women, God's children, and he weeps with us. Your story is very different, Larry. Your story starts with sick, perverse, and ungodly intentions. You are not a physician. You are a pedophile. You only used your degree as a platform to sexually abuse your patients, one by one, for your sick and your very perverse pleasure. You groomed your victims and plotted a course full of deceit and abuse. I hope that you have heard each and every story and I pray that these voices resonate in you forever. You were once known as one of the elite physicians in your profession. Now and forever, you will go down in history as one of the worst humankind has to offer. A child molester, a predator, an abuser, a pedophile. You cannot escape this identity. And to each and every institution that deny responsibility for this shame on you, for a moment, I ask that you close your eyes and think of your daughter. Do you remember her innocence? Can you see her smile, hear her youthful laughter? Now imagine her being sexually assaulted by this man. Can you hear her scream, or is it silent? This is our reality, and these were our children. If after that disturbing thought, after that disturbing image, you can continue to deny responsibility for fostering this abuse and allowing this monster to continue with his practice, then you have denied the truth. You have learned nothing. These institutions emphasize the importance of safe spaces. Ironically, the only safe place that was created was a safe place for Larry Nassar to molest children and young women without boundaries and without oversight. I ask you, where was a safe place for all the abused, for all of these survivors? Thank you, Your Honor.